What's up guys, welcome to your 166th Android tutorial for the new Boston. I know in that last tutorial we went pretty quickly, we set everything up, but hopefully we're going to slow it down here. All we did for the most part, we set up all of our references, pretty uh, normal stuff, but uh, the only new thing that we had was this intent and we got the extras, and as long as the extras was equal to something, we're going to set up our app widget ID. Um, and you know, it's just going to return one app widget ID for us. And that's what that method means. Otherwise, you know, it's never going to return something like this. We're just putting that in there for kind of checking. And then what we need to do is we also need to set up this uh, app widget manager. So below our if statement, we're just going to set that equal to basically be related to the context of this class. So how we do that is we do set up our app widget manager equal to our app widget manager class. Again, we're just that's just a default class that comes with the SDK and all that. Uh, you guys probably know that by now, but then we say dot, and what we're going to do is we're going to say get instance of a context. And again, the context that we're referring to is the context of this class, which we set up in the last tutorial um, to equal be equal to C. You could also just type this out here, but uh, just for simplicity, we're just going to type C here. So that kind of builds a bridge for App Widget Manager to relate to this specific class. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to set up, you know, our on-click method um, according to what we want to happen. Um, so we're just going to, you know, create a string called E, and this is going to be equal to our info or edit text called info, I should say, and then just get text to string. Again, nothing new. And we're just going to set up the string for this one and and then we're going to get into opening another activity. So this is kind of uh, kind of similar to what we have done previously, but let's give us a little space to work here. Again, we need to set up a remote views, and we're going to call it v. And we're going to set this again equal to new remote views, and then we're going to refer to our other context. Again, we define that variable called c, and we're just going to say get package name. Then we're going to relate to the layout that we called um, for our widget itself. So again, we're messing with the widget layout, so that's what we need to refer to here. Finish off our statements, import, again, nothing too new here. And we have a, we're getting an error because, again, this onClick method, uh, you know, pull uh, gives us a view to work with, and they call that view. So we're just going to change this to views. Um, whatever that works then what we're gonna do is we're gonna again just say uh, views dot set text view text and we refer to the ID again r dot ID dot text view uh, is configure input this is what that first text view is called all we're gonna do is pass in you know whatever our string is from our edit text so yeah pretty much the same as what we've done in the last tutorial uh, this one's going to be a little bit, uh, just kind of a review as well, but we're going to get into something new. Um, something a little bit new that you guys need to realize when you make one of these configuration things, uh, classes. So we're just going to refer to our, um, again, app widget manager, and we're just going to say dot update app widget, and we refer to the ID, which we called uh, AWID again, and the views, which we called views as well. So we don't have to change that one. And there we go. We basically updated our app. And the only other thing we need to do is we got to say uh, finish. Because again, we want this activity to finish when, uh, you know, when they hit that button. So that's pretty much the core concept of probably this tutorial. Um, again, we just kind of did it a little bit different, referring to a context, get instance of the context here. Uh, since again, if I switch over to this class, we don't actually get the context. Uh, like we do with the update method, so we have to kind of create it to relate to this class. So that's something pretty important. And we also want to finish this activity somehow and uh, you know close it out. So again, it's probably not too new, uh, just to kind of go over some stuff again and, uh, and just to make sure you guys finish the activity. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. 